Hi, fourth and fifth grade students. Um, today we're going to be doing a Native American lesson called a dream. Um, um, and we're going to be doing it with the dream catcher. So the dream catcher is a Native American um, object that was um, made hundreds of years ago, started out hundreds of years ago. It's really been a popular culture thing. People have made them and you can find them in tourist shops all around. And I even had some students this week that had dream catchers in their room. <coughs> um, but they really came from legends by Native Americans and they were created, started in the Native American culture. Um, and Native Americans are just people that were here before anybody came from Europe or other places. Uh, Native Americans came to America and were here before anyone else was. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to present and I'm going to want to read you a couple of legends. We're going to look at a couple of dream catchers and then we're going to draw a dream catcher together. So I'm going to go ahead and present um, and we're going to see, we're going to read you a couple of the Native American legends. Okay, so these are a couple of legends of the dream catcher. And the first legend is an Ojibwa legend, and Ojibwa is a tribe, and we're going to read about this legend. A grandmother watched patiently each day as a spider spun his web above her sleeping place, until one day her grandson noticed the spider and tried to kill it. Don't hurt him, she told the boy in a soft tone, surprising him. But grandmother, you should not protect the spider. When the grandson left, the spider thanked the woman for her protection and offered her a gift. I will spin you a web that hangs between you and the moon so that when you dream, it will snare the bad thoughts and keep them from you. At this, grandmother smiled and continued to watch the spider swim his web. So in that legend, the web of the dream catcher catches the bad dreams and keeps it from the person. Um, here's a Lakota legend about a dream catcher. While receiving a spiritual vision high in a mountain, a Lakota leader met Ikotami, a trickster who also held great wisdom. Appearing to the leader in the form of a spider, Ikotami made a hoop of willow and spun a web inside of it. He told the aged Lakota man that many forces, both bright and dark, would attempt to enter the people's dreams and that the dream catcher he was making would catch the bright forces and allow the dark ones to slip away and burn up. Ikotami instructed the old man to make dream catchers for his people. You're in my video. Hi! For his people so they could all achieve a bright future by capturing the good dreams that are blown about by the winds of the night. Um, so in this version, the web captures the good dreams and lets the ones, uh, the bad dreams, go through the hole of the dream catcher and burn up. That was my son that came in during the video, by the way. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at, here's a couple of dream catchers. So here's a dream catcher right there. And here's another dream catcher. And there's the web. There's the hole. And here's a dream catcher. Someone told me that each of the beads is one of the dreams that's actually caught in the web of the dream catcher. So that's pretty cool. Okay. So I'm going to present my screen and we're going to make a dream catcher today. And so you're going to see my paper and we're going to go ahead and we're going to draw one today. And there are different ways also to even make dream catchers that you can make one. So um, look those up too. Sometimes I've made them with my students, but virtually uh, we're going, I'm going to draw one together today. So I have my paper right here and I'm going to make this kind of more of a vertical. So I'm going to start with a circle right here for my dream catcher. Go ahead and do a circle for your dream catcher. Remember with the circle, it's just a big arm movement around and go really lightly because if you don't like your circle, you can go ahead 
and erase parts of it. I never make a perfect circle to begin with, so I have to keep going around like that to make my circle. Okay, and then make a circle in the middle. Right here, here's the middle circle. And then I wanna go ahead and I want to put a dot right here. So I'm gonna put a dot right there. And I'm gonna make the webbing. So the webbing is gonna come around the circle, come around and meet back with the dot. Make another dot and make the web come around and meet to the dot. To see how that's working, it's coming that way. So if we keep doing that pattern, it actually creates pretty cool web design right here. Just the design of the spider web that comes around right here. Try to keep going around right there. I'm around right here. There, and just kind of keep on going around. Right there. Okay. Now, um, just go ahead and go like this and create. I create a little, just kind of a frame, the wooden frame around the dream catcher. So that's what the webbing is connected to. And then what's really fun is off the dream catcher, um, a lot of times there's some feathers or other things that hang off of the dream catcher. Um, sometimes there would even be kind of stones are rocks that would hang off of it and it would kind of be right there and just hang so i might make a few stones and i might make another feather right here and i'm going to give those feathers some of this right there so that's kind of our our dream catcher pattern and design now you could do the feathers however you want to do it and then I um, encourage people to color it. You know, if you want to go around the webbing, add color. Um, you want to add some color to those feathers. That's a really fun thing. Um, you could kind of create some really colorful feathers in here. That'd be fun. Or adding, giving some of the hoop, like the wood, kind of a wooden uh, color around here. So color that, have fun with it. You could always hang it even above your bed so it catches those bad dreams. Um, so I hope you've really had fun drawing the dream catcher. I know a lot of people had a connection because they had a dream catcher at home. And um, have a great fun with that lesson. And then I'll see you next week for another virtual lesson next week. Bye, everybody.